Hello, welcome to jdeveloper02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the to-do list. So we're going to continue focusing on the code assist feature of jdeveloper. So let me go to the instance of jdeveloper that's running. So this is uh, the class you created in the last tutorial. Okay, uh, so if I, uh, if you focus on the main uh, method here, what we are doing is we are creating an instance of class friend as a Steve okay so let me try to create an instance of a class that does not exist so what I'm gonna do is contact Tom is equal to new contact so we are trying to create an instance Tom of a class contact that, that does not exist so if I take my mouse over the word contact you can see it's uh, uh, J developer has drawn red line underneath because the the object does not exist so I'm gonna get a message type contact not found if you if I take my mouse over contact okay so let's say in program uh, while you're coding the tons of things that you need to do maybe later on you don't want to do at that moment so you just want to write a note for yourself a to do note okay so if uh, this feature is not present uh, in the IDE what you need to do is you need to maintain a to do list separately somewhere perhaps in the notepad but luckily uh, J developer offers uh, fortunately a feature called to do list feature where you can maintain your to do list within the uh, the code okay so what i'm going to do is slash write a slash slash to do uh, create class contact okay so this is just a note for myself that i need to create class contact okay uh, now slash slash is basically way of commenting code out so uh, compiler does not read the code which is uh, which starts with uh, slash slash so these lines are skipped by the compiler because uh, what we are saying is these are not to ourselves but this keyword to do is a special keyword that J developer understands uh, and J developer knows that this is some uh, something that you need to do and you're adding some item in the to do list so let's say in a program you have like a couple of these to-do items already entered. So let me save the work. Okay. So at the end of the day, what I can do is go to View menu and then choose Tasks here. So as soon as I do that, I get a list of all the to-do items that I've created in my program. Okay. So if I double-click on on that any to-do item, so right now I'm just seeing only one to-do item because I only created one to-do item. Create class contact. If I double-click on it, J Developer is going to take me right to the uh, to the source uh, where this to do item was created okay so uh, that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to point out in this tutorial how to manage your to do list so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to co comment out this uh, this line where I'm creating uh, an instance of a class that does not even exist so now you see this red box has disappeared changed to green because there are no more errors in the program okay uh, so that's pretty much it now I'm going to save the work and I'll see you in the next tutorial.